thanks for joining us, Nathan. Okay. We were going to uh, take out to the side to the bowls, but uh, unfortunately the rain's taken over a little bit, so we've opted for a bit of, bit of darts. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm quite comfortable with that. A little bit of south and end coming out, so on the dartboard she'll be alright. But uh, the bowls, yeah, I wasn't too keen on getting out there in the rain. I've spent a bit of time in the rain lately, so. Yes, I know, tell us about it. Uh, yeah, well, it was pretty frustrating being in, in Sri Lanka and, and watching rainfall and sort of opening the curtains in the morning and, and wondering whether it's raining or not again. And no matter how much you tell yourself to get out of that mentality, it was. It was pretty tough and you had to figure out whether it was gumboots or cricket shoes. So. Yeah, and what do you do while it is raining so you can't play? Yeah, uh, you, you sort of try and try and sort of get through the day, but you, you're still aware of that you, you could be playing throughout the day or, or the next day as well. So it's it's a tough one because you, you can't train so hard that you take yourself more. away for the next mm. day, but also you've got to prepare as well and, and get, get the best out of yourself. So... Uh, it tends to be a little bit of cards and, and different things like that to keep yourself occupied and, uh, and, and also, darts. yeah, well, a little bit of darts every now and then as well. Nice. Oh. So you've got a pretty busy, busy schedule. What do you like to do on your off days? Uh, yeah, it's, it's sort of been pretty busy lately travelling all over the world. So um, it's quite good being home at the moment and getting to know the family again and, and, yeah. and uh, meeting the, my Two little boys. I've got a I've got a 12 week old and a, and a two and about four month old. So taking them to the pool, which tends to be pretty pretty tiring effort. But uh, yeah, doing that, and uh, I like to get out on the golf course and take a bit of cash off the Otago oh. boys whenever I can. So. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. So it's summer now. You'll be working on your beach body. You'll be in the gym a lot. Uh, working on the frame, as as you can see, but uh, no, just sort of working in there, getting in there a little bit. But uh, we're, we've got Chris Donaldson sort of nailing us pretty hard on our programs and, and what to do. So uh, he, he keeps a close eye on us, and especially when we're away and we sit down and have dinner with him, it's it's uh, pretty embarrassing because you you almost have to follow him and, and, and choose what he chooses so that he's not on your back. But it's it's good fun and it's all right. So. <laughs> Oh, Renee, did you see that Jaguar? Look at those things! It's like you come pretty quick on my feet! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you're back in Dunedin now. Are you looking forward to getting into this new blue and gold? Yeah, I like it. I, I quite like the new, new uniform. So uh, I've got one game this week and then uh, a few 2020s in a, in a few weeks' time. So I'm right. excited about playing it. And then what after this, um, to the end of the HRV? Uh, I've got here to South Africa for a couple of weeks for the 2020s and taking the family and uh, they're over Christmas so we'll see how that 14 hour flight goes. I'll let you know when I get back. <laughs> so this is the first time I meet you in person. This new facial hair, is this new or...? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's it's not my normal look. Um, no. Although although some people say that uh, a little bit Tom Selleck like when I've got my aviators on, although it's definitely ginger and it's copping a bit of flack for that. But it's for a good cause and, it, and, it, and it's hard case, but uh, it's fair to say me, my, my fiance and a number of other people that are close to me are pretty keen for me to Shut get up. rid of it in the next couple of days. So. But uh, I'm, I'm just still waiting for you and all the other guys to uh, donate for my for my cause to pass it on to the to the good cause. So I'll expect that later on today. Fair enough, I have to give something to that. <laughs>
beaten again, so that's three and a half of the volts, none for me. I'm going to have to really pick up my game. Yeah, well, I think you're living up to your number two status up there, aren't you? We're so, uh, going to have to change that. Uh, we'll see how you go. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you'll do better in uh, episode four of Volts Vision. Fingers crossed. <laughs> hey, thanks for joining us today, and all the best for the next couple of months. Cool. Thank you. Cheers. Hey Duffy, isn't that Aaron Redmond and Ian Butler? Yeah, they play for the Otago Volts, Craig. There it is. Isn't that Duffy and Noisy? Yeah, it is, eh? They're the boys who give a sweet deal to Tony Brown. Let's go and see them. Yeah, come on, mate. Let's get a deal. Noisy, noisy, noisy! Duffy, Duffy, bring him in! And that's Volts Vision from Stephen Duff Mitsubishi.